Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about um, how technology affects uh, the, the business model we talked about before. So in the last lecture, I talked about business identity, what a business hopes to achieve, right? And then customers, who are the customers that the business has and who could the customers be? And then the product itself, right? So what, what product does the company actually provide to its customers? Right. Is it an object like a marker? Is it a service like um, you know, support or something like that? Okay. Um, so I'm specifically interested today in, in talking about how IT affects these kinds of things. So for example, um, think about any new company that is completely based on IT. What companies come to mind whenever you think of IT companies? Well, maybe, especially if you're Korean, you probably think of something like Naver. Right? Uh, maybe Cacao Talk. Cacao. Cacao? I think that's how you spell it. Okay, so um, Identity, Naver, and Cacao. Um, you can probably think of Google or some of these other companies. Um, if you think of technology companies, well, what is the actual identity? What's the goal of these companies? Well, if you think of Naver, their goal basically is to make everything searchable, right? They're basically a search engine, right? So they take information from a bunch of different sources and then try to make it as usable as possible for everyone. What's Cacao Talk's goal? Basically, they want to be a big social media company, so I'll say make people social, right? Is that their goal, to make people social, or is it just to help communication, or is it something else, right? What are, what are the goals of these companies? If we think of them, we probably think make information searchable, make people social, make people communicate more, um, but is that really their goal? We don't know. Um, maybe somebody knows, we would have to go actually talk to somebody and find out. Think of Neighbor and Cacao Talk. Who are their customers? Who is the customer for Naver and Cacao Talk? Well, let's think about how they make money. Does it cost anything to use Naver? No, it's a free search engine. So everyone can go to their search engine and um, uh, use their services for free. Or we think at least somewhat for free, right? Where does the, the cost for us actually come in? Well, the cost comes in advertisements. So I'll just put ads, both for Naver and Cacao Talk. Cacao uses a lot of advertisements as well. So Naver and Cacao Talk, um, even though we're using a service for free, they're showing us advertisements. And believe it or not, advertisements take up your data, they take up your time, they take up space on your computer. Um, advertising costs you a lot of time just at a very small amount per page, basically. So you have to wait for the page to load a little bit longer because of advertisements, things like that. So the cost to the customer is actually in time, right? So even though we're using something for free, it's costing us more time to use that service rather than another service um, that, that would be free, that would not be free. Um, imagine if we paid for a service and it removed the advertisements, well, then we would actually be saving time, but we would pay for it, okay? Um, how else do they make their money? Well, for those advertisements, people pay Naver to show advertisements. So um, ad from ads from businesses, right? So actually the customers of Naver are um, businesses that are paying them to show advertisements, right? So the customers, the main customers are, in the case of Naver, the businesses that are paying for advertisements um, and somewhat the customers that are going to the website and looking at the website, but mostly the businesses that are paying, as well as the shareholders, right? So the, the shareholders are kind of investing money um, and um, Naver is trying to pay them back, basically. So the customers are a lot of different people, but the customers are not you. <laughs> Unless you are paying for their ad services or paying for their services, 
you're not their customer. You are their product, actually. Okay? So their product, speaking of product, is eyes. Right? What they want is people to look at their web page. That way, businesses pay them more money. So their customers will pay them more money depending on how many eyes they have. Right? So you are their product. They made a web portal that a bunch of people will actually go to. That way, they can sell you and your information to other people. Now, is this strange? I'll put you. You. You are the. You are the product. Is this a strange business model? No. A lot of tech companies have this type of business model because technology makes it so easy to put eyes in front of advertisements. Right. If they have a very popular portal, monetize through advertising. Then your、um, users become the uh, uh, the product, right? So whenever a neighbor is making、um, decisions, most of their decisions, most of their motivation is going to be based on the business customers, not necessarily the users. So, for example, user privacy. Does it make them more or less money if users have less privacy? Like、it makes them a lot more money. That's why Google. We have so much trouble with Google、um, all around the world because Google is trying to make you the product, and they are really good at doing analytics about、um, all of your personal information. Facebook right now is also having the same effect. They're collecting way too much information, and they are basically able to predict a lot of things about people and identify people. And that's a problem. Because online, whenever something is free, you are not the customer; you are the product. If you're paying for it, you are the customer.、Um, now, this is kind of the same through a lot of different、um, different portals. Kakao Talk does a little bit of the same, but Kakao Talk also sells things. So, for example, they sell、um, or they have a platform for selling, for example,、um, uh, stories. Books, things like that. So, for example, books. Now they have Kakao Bank, right? So they make money off of banking transactions or doing the transactions online. So they're actually providing some other services. Now the bank also costs you money and fees and things like that.、Uh, books, people buy the books, so they provide a free platform. So that way, customers can buy books that other people have written. So by being the platform.、Um, They give a way for people to create content on their platforms that they can then sell.、Um, so Kakao Talks a little bit different than Naver, for example, because their customers or their、um, business model, which we'll talk about business models a little bit later, is a little bit different. They're trying to provide a lot of different services, whereas Naver is basically providing eyes, right?、Um, and Naver has a lot of other companies that are doing a lot of other things as well. Okay. So、um, the reason that this is so interesting is because this is an advertising model that existed before technology, but was revolutionized by technology. Because now everyone has a smartphone in their pocket, which means eyes—you have access to more eyes than ever before. You know, eyes of kids, eyes of adults, everyone using technology all the time.、Um, so. This type of advertising model really drives a lot of business, which is why ad blocking is such an issue for these companies because they base their entire business model around advertising, right? Which means that the customers are not the ones accessing the things for free. Okay.、Um, so technology.、Um, this is one example of how technology has kind of changed, at least.、Um, The way that content is created and who we are working for,、um, we think that Naver, Kakao Talk, Google, all of these companies are actually working for the end user. No, the end user doesn't really pay very much, but businesses and advertisements pay a lot, right?、Um, if you look at news agencies now, a lot of news agencies in Korea、um, almost completely rely on online advertising because it makes them so much revenue. Um, yeah, so this is just one way to think about、um, a company and who are the actual customers in the company. What does the company do, right? So, what is their identity? What do we think they do? Well, we think Naver is a search engine. The search engine is for the end user. 
No, that's just a service to get the end user to come to their website. Who are their actual customers? People who are buying advertising space and probably their shareholders, most likely their shareholders. Who is the product then? Is a search engine a product? They probably don't make any money on the search engine. They probably make, but they do make all of the money on advertising, which is your eyes, right? So in terms of what they actually provide as a service, um, the search engine is not their main business. And the same for Google and all the other big search engines as well. Um, so we'll talk more later about how this or how technology affects these kinds of business models and specifically some business models that major IT companies use. Um, but first, we'll talk about the technology that businesses are using um, uh, to make all of these things possible in the first place. Okay, thank you very much.